Hey everyone, today I'm going to introduce you my new bike, Husqvarna FR450 RR or 450 Rally replica. As most of you probably know, Husqvarna is related to KTM, so basically it's the same bike as a KTM Rally replica. The only difference is a front fender. It's basically the same that Husqvarna uses on a dirt bike's motocross or enduro. And the car, of course. So this is the third generation of the 450 rally bike from the Austrian manufacturer. First one was the carburetor version and the second and the third are of course the fuel injection. The consumption is lower and consequently of course the mileage is higher, which is very important on the Dakar rally. Especially this year where the stages were fast and sandy and sometimes I burned like over 10 liters on a 100 Ks. KTM still follows the same ideology of the steel frame construction where the engine is hanged on only three points, not on the four as it's common on the motocross or enduro bikes. As there is no frame under the engine, it's protected with the big carbon fiber skid plate. It's very easy to remove, we have only two screws. This skid plate also holds a 3 liter water tank where is drinking water inside. This is the recommendation of the uh, Dakar Rally organizers, ASO, and it must be full at any time. Sometimes the steward can check it just before the start and if it's empty, you could be disqualified. On both previous models, there was also a toolbox on this skid plate, but now they moved it under the seat. It's easy to remove, as always, one wire, pull, and the seat is down. So, this is the toolbox, carbon fiber. I always put some tires on the top of it. Then I always have a lamp if the darkness catch me. All the necessary tools. The tools for the rear wheel. Tool for the spark plug. Of course, a chain linkage. Some other tools. A spare brake, another tools, some other linkages for the chain, and of course, if I have to stop here. This bike is a product of a long time testing. They've let and keep the good and reliable things and develop the others. So, for example, you can put a front wheel from the both previous models. But the rear wheel is different. It doesn't fit from the old bikes, as they change the swing arm, which is tighter, lighter, but still strong enough. Also the tower, the navigation tower, is a little bit modified. For the mask, they're still using the same quick releases, as they're very, very reliable. On the previous two models, Eri track was on the side, where it was pretty much exposed. But now they put it inside the tower, in the hole, and this is where it's very protected. My experiences with this bike on the Dakar 2020 in Saudi Arabia were only positive. As I mentioned before, some stages were very fast and sandy, so sometimes I was afraid that the engine was not going to hold, because it was on a high RPM basically all day, but it was running perfect until the finish line. So the bike topped my expectations. The handling was similar to the motocross bike that I trained with over the year, and that helped me to achieve my best result on a stage 10. And it was 21st place overall. Of course, that motivates me a lot more to work even harder over the year. And my goal is to finish at the top places on the original BIM Tour class in the Dakar 2021 in Saudi Arabia. Stay tuned, guys. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you in the next vlog. Bye.